What's up, everyone? This is Marky Basie, and you're watching We 96.3 in the Bloodworks Live Studio. Uh, who in here wants to be Mark's main chick? Just, just wondering. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. Hi, how you doing? I feel uh, great. Good. Happy birthday again. Thank you. It's been a little, little bit, about a year since the last time we spoke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're back in Portland. I remember this room. Yes, we literally right here, same area, just. A long time ago, kind of. Um, you have a show tonight, Wonder Ballroom. Are you guys coming? Yeah. That was like halfway. <laughs> like you guys are here, but you're not coming to the show. <laughs> Anyone who wants to come to the show, if you're here right now, just tell us and Ooh. you can all come. You're there all you go, VIP. Yeah. Gossip column tour. Um, the last time you were here, we blew out the sound cloud or the sound card in my boss's office on his computer. Uh huh. We took shots of tequila. And it was a good time. I'm wondering if you have some new bangers that are gonna blow out the next sound card so that my boss can uh, it was bother funny IT. We, uh, we were just talking we were just with doing him that. earlier. Yeah. And he told us that story, and we really <laughs> did. And I was like, I think we broke your chair also. Did we break uh, the chair? <laughs> yeah, he, didn't, he didn't catch that one. I guess. That's hilarious. Um, Sorry about that. You know, he'll get over it. It's yeah. fine. Um, do you have some new music that you're working on? Yeah. Okay. So that song I just played. Right. Uh, main chick. It's called. It comes out April twentieth. That's my new, newest, uh, first okay. single that's coming out. So you guys heard it first. Rock on. I like that. Uh, and uh, I have about you know, maybe like thirty songs I did this year so far. I, I stay making music as I, much as possible. I heard you have a studio on your tour bus. Always. Yeah. Have to, yes. So on average, how many songs are you like writing and making well, like in a week per se? When I'm home, we make music every day, yeah. all day, you know. And then when we go on tour, usually what I try to say is, like, if we just get two good songs from the back where right. the studio is, I feel like it was worth it. Because um, otherwise, that would be, like, a nice, cozy area to watch movies and eat Sour Patch Kids or something. And find your new main chick. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, <laughs> there could be a lot of shit that goes on in the back of the bus. Uh, but we sacrifice all that for the studio. Well, that's good. Um, so, but that song, Main Chick, I was actually, like, uh, we, we were on tour with Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah. And I took uh, Magical Mushrooms. And uh, I don't know if that's illegal in Portland. Probably is. Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I was really like, my mind was very expanded and I felt very free. And uh, I got back on the bus and I was like, can we just make a happy song that feels good that we can go play on the radio right now? And we made it in like 20 minutes. Right on. That's that song. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Um, Speaking of like the studio tour bus and like you making music at home, where's like your maybe most comfortable, most favorite place to like write music and like create music or just to create? I'm general? a big pacer. I like to pace and okay. walk. So I just um, I just kind of walk and usually the best songs I write is like a melody or a, a turn of phrase that has been stuck in my head that I can't get out. Yeah. I heard this old Babyface quote. Mm -hmm. um, he was talking about writing songs, and he was like, I don't ever worry about, like, oh, I, f like, I have to record this idea right now because it's so good. Yeah. Because if it's really good, I'll remember it the next day. So usually I just like to let the the uh, the ideas kind of simmer. Yeah. And Sorry, I'm neglecting this uh, side of the room. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so, yeah, once something's kind of just been stuck with me for a while, then when the right beat comes around or the right time to record it, that's how I know. Dope. I love that. Cool. Um, we do have some Twitter questions from your fans okay, before we please. get back to some music. Mm -hmm. um, at xtina4792 wants to know if you're interested in getting into acting ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> Writing, enough. though. Writing? I would love to write, but I could only act if they were like, be uh, kind of like a, a semi-sad singer guy. <laughs> 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 like, oh, gotcha. You could just I could, play yourself. Yeah, I could play good. myself, but that's probably it. <laughs> that's funny. Um, at hip hop head underscore three thirty one, are there any fire collabs on the way? No more collabs. Woo! I'm doing right. everything myself now. No offense or anything yeah. like, but I gave everyone: Kaylani, G Easy, YG, Haley Steinfeld, Kyle. Um, am I missing anyone? French Montana, Gucci Mane. So I've done a lot of collabs in the past year. So yeah. now I'm just focusing on myself. That's good. Okay. And they, maybe we can re readdress the collaborating thing, but let's do this. Yes. Still, yeah, for sure. 
Um, at Jessica underscore Boaz, I think that's how you say it. Would ra would you rather have a home cooked meal or would you rather eat out? She's trying to be your main shit. I'm eating out. I mean, oh really? What like what's your favorite type of food to like eat out? I like good food. Just good food. <laughs> um, I well it depends like what region I'm in. Like okay. if I was here, I'd probably want like some really good uh, like oysters or like what's really good in Portland. Pho like, is really water. good here. Oh the pho. Where's yeah. the pho spot? Pho, pho's, yeah. There's a bunch. What's it called? Fuck him. F fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I like the play on words though that they do sometimes because it's really funny. Oh, is that funny. an actual place? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I saw one that's actually, called Phenom. Phenom? Yeah. Oh, that's, can't they just no, make but, it about the food, man? Yeah, I know, but I just feel like phenomenal would be We have to go to fuck him. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, okay, at Alex Tanner Music wants to know any advice to up up and coming singer or songwriters. Um, yeah, um, man, I could I could write an essay. <laughs> uh, I think in this uh, current music climate, you never know um, what style, what type of energy, what music is going to become popular. So I feel like if I was just getting into music right now, I would be very open to working with a lot of people and sure. like making sure that. I didn't, uh, like, you can't be a music snob anymore because mm. music has become, like, when I was starting off in music, there was a certain level of, like, do you, what do you play? Or, right. like, what do you, can you, like, <laughs> sing this? Or And it was, like, a little more technical, and now I feel like music has changed into something that is entirely about the energy. And so you never know who, which kid is going to be the next just gonna get a face tag and be the most famous rapper <laughs> in the world. So I, if I was just getting into music, I'd be very open and r recognize like music has turned into something that's not just music. It's like an overall energy thing, and I would work with as many people as possible and kind of like share share my uh, passion. Love it. Well, on that note, you guys want to hear some more music from Mark? Yeah, yeah let's do it, Marky Basie, everybody.